With rent prices going up, many people are questioning renters' rights here in Kansas City. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains what can cause problems for both landlords and tenants. Kevin, it's no secret that there are many apartment buildings, including the one behind me, that are being built. And it's driving a conversation about rental rights, which is why the Jackson County Bar Association hosted an open meeting tonight. Like many in Kansas City, Paul Davis spent years renting apartments. They allowed this property manager to come up with this lease that was just crazy and insane. But after a while, he decided to make the switch from tenant to property manager and now owner. And so I just want to make sure that basically that when I'm running my buildings, that everything is within, that I'm not doing anything wrong. So he, like others, gathered Wednesday night to learn about rental rights for both landlords and tenants. Because rents are rising all over the city, and especially in the inner city where they normally have been low, um, it's really hard for people to find housing that are of lower income. According to data collected by Kansas City, 46% of residents don't own their homes. They rent. But even as new units become available, the city admits there is an undersupply of housing at the low income end of the market. And that can cause problems between landlords and tenants. But if there are terrible conditions in the uh, unit, and a lot of times there are, then they can raise that as a defense to the they're, they're not paying rent. Besides living conditions, evictions are also a very common problem. The recommendation here, if a person has some form of representation, they are half as likely to be evicted. A process Paul Davis hopes he doesn't have to do, but one he wants to be prepared for. A lot of tenants, um, they have, they've made mistakes in their past and that keeps them from getting like the best landlord and the nicest property. 